What is up, Facebook? What is up, what is up, what is up, what is up, what is up? So I'm letting my phone charge. And while my phone charges, then I can do a YouTube video of me making that uh, that cheesy ramen that I was going to make earlier. Yeah. Oh, for those of you asking, um, Summer's ribs were delicious, by the way. Went over there and had my fill, you know. I was just answering that question. My, uh, the ribs were delicious, you know. Like I was just saying, yo, Summer's an amazing cook, so, you know. I mean, my skills are all right, but, you know, I can throw some shit together, make it taste all right, I guess. Hello. Hmm. Did he really? Well, that's fucking sad. I kind of figured because he was still talking shit on Summer. Fucking Steve, man. See what happens, people. Hello, Summer. You see what happens, people, when I try to be an adult, and even though I did nothing wrong, even though I did nothing wrong, I still try to make a peace treaty with that goat fucker. And now he's making a video saying he doesn't want to do the peace treaty anymore. Well, fuck him, dude. Um, yeah, you may. I got it over here. Oh, what? The stuff right here, this dark green. Yeah. It just shows you can't trust Steve. I tried to make a peace treaty with him, and now he's just being a, a little bitch. Really? Steve says he wants to meet me in person and have you sign a paper treaty that are on his terms. Fuck that. Well, if you want to, Summer, you can, but you have to come over here and get it. I'm not signing any goddamn paper treaty. Fuck that, dude. All right, Summer, see you here in a few. Yeah, Goatman has definitely lost his goddamn mind. I tried to be mature about it. Even though I didn't do anything wrong, I still tried to make a fucking peace treaty with him. And this is how he fucking acts. Mr. I don't want to do the peace treaty anymore. Well, the treaty was basically me saying that I agree not to talk shit on Steve if he agrees to not talk shit on me or Scotty. And I should have been more specific. I should have included my girlfriend in the equation, but what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I know I haven't done anything wrong. It's just, well, what do you do, you know? I'm 
I'm not even going to respond to Steve's videos anymore, to be honest. Like, what's the point? It's just going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to continuously do this crap. Because here's the thing. Steve says he doesn't want to fight anymore on YouTube. So I'm like, all right, let's make a peace treaty on YouTube. We do that, and now he says, well, fuck the peace treaty. I want to meet you in person and have you sign a paper that legally says blah, 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 blah on my terms. So how do I know that Steve's little paper peace treaty, how do I know he's not going to go back on that? You know, the fact that he's sitting there saying that he doesn't want to do the peace treaty on YouTube anymore is kind of stupid. You know, so how the fuck do I know he's not going to go back on his paper treaty? See what I'm saying? So fuck that. I'm not signing anything, dude. I'm not going to talk shit about Steve anymore because that was my agreement of the peace treaty that I made with him on YouTube. But I'm not going to sign his goddamn paper treaty, dude. Fuck that shit. Yeah, exactly. And that's the funny thing, Tyler, is I haven't even read the peace treaty. Yeah, exactly. You're right. I am a man who stands by my word. That's what I planned on doing, Carolyn. Like, straight up. Carolyn says, why don't you just ignore Steve and you go your separate ways? Don't sign a stupid piece of paper. Just leave him in the past. You learned your lesson. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not talking shit about Steve. I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to sign his goddamn paper. The peace treaty agreement was on fucking YouTube. You know, I never realized how good looking I was, like, in all sincerity. Oh, those ribs were delicious. Thank you for asking. Like, I've always had people tell me I'm a good looking dude, and I've never really seen it that much until now. Like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, pretty much. This just proves why you can't trust Steve. You know what I'm saying? Like, first he says he wants to make peace on YouTube, so I do that, and then he says, no, fuck that. I want you to sign a paper. <laughs> no, fuck that, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've never had much confidence in myself as a person. And, well, I probably could have had more girlfriends in my life if I would have had more confidence in myself, to tell you the truth. That's exactly what I'll say. That's exactly what I'm doing. Like, for real.
Pretty much, CJ, pretty much. CJ hit the nail on the right on the head. CJ said, CJ and I quote said, Josh is trying to go his way, own way. Josh is trying to go his own way, but Steve is trying to keep shit starting. And that's exactly right. All right, Summer, see you in 10. Indeed, indeed, Carolyn, indeed. I try to be a good person, but that's tough to do sometimes because I see all the shittiness and humanity and it makes me want to be an asshole. And my asshole side is scary, Facebook. I'm not as scared of shit, but my asshole side scares me. <laughs> Legitly. Ah, oh, the next album will come out whenever I can get it done. Oh. But, um, I don't know. I'm not trying to shoot for January of next year. I'll give you some time to work on it, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it doesn't feel like a Christmas album, to be brutally honest. So I guess I can try to release my album sometime in January. Not making any promises, though. I'm trying to create the best music I've made in a long time, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um... I record in GarageBand. I record my music in, in GarageBand and then I upload it to my iTunes and then from my iTunes I can upload it directly to the internet. Yeah, sometimes, Carolyn, those things happen. When you get sick and then you get better, you start to appreciate life. Oh, she didn't make any cheesecake cupcakes. What she ended up doing was making banana bread in cupcake form, basically. And these chocolate muffins that were really good. Yeah, unfortunately, Carolyn, that's kind of a weakness of mine. <laughs> I try to care about humanity and the good of the common man, but, you know, I get psyched up and all the bullshit. It's going pretty good so far. Um... I have to call hanging out with everybody early tonight because, you know, I got work in the morning and, you know, yeah. I'm not going to stay up too much later, maybe maybe a couple more hours max. I do need, I do need to get plenty of sleep for work tomorrow. Eh. 
I can be a positive influence, Carolyn, but generally speaking, I'm a negative person. The world needs more positivity, but that's easier said than done. I try to look at things from the other person's perspective, if that makes any sense, you know? Whenever I feel like that my struggles are the worst, I try to remember that there are people out there who are struggling way worse than I am right now. And when I remember that, it makes my struggles seem less insignificant, really. Or, yeah. I know I'm a contradiction, Facebook. I'm a negative person, but I'm also one of the nicest people you'd ever meet. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it does depend on my mood, though, because if I'm in one of those fuck everything pissed off moods, you know what I'm saying? That's when I'm just like, don't be around me if you can avoid it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Tina, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I can be an asshole when I'm pushed to it. And usually people would be smart enough not to push me to my asshole side. Yeah. I mean, Steve has marijuana paraphernalia stacked up in his house. And occasionally his nieces and nephews come over to visit. So if I wanted to be a huge dick, <laughs> but I'm not going to go down that route because I don't think that would be fair to uh, Steve's brother if, his, if Steve's brother's kids got taken away. So fuck that. For real, like, there's so many things I could do to fuck up Steve's life, but I'm going to be the bigger person and just walk away from it. You know what I'm saying? And this is the, the shitty part. Back when I could call Steve my friend, but I know, I know, hard to believe there was a time, right? But back when I called Steve my friend... A lot of people were like, bro, Steve fucks goats. That's just weird. And the thing of it is, is I stood up for him. So. Now you're right, Carolyn. Steve's brother does not deserve to lose his children. So I want to let karma sort Steve out. You're right, Tina. I did do a lot for him. Yeah, life is too short, Caroline. I agree with you on that. I bought in cigarettes for Steve. I bought in booze for Steve. I've helped him move in and out of his old apartment and into his new apartment. And I helped promote his fucking YouTube channel when he was fucking nobody. Do you, do you think Steve would have what little subscribers he has if it wasn't for me giving him a fucking shout out saying, hey, check out this dude's channel? Yeah, he did. He, he used me big time. And I just, I get tired of it, Facebook. I get tired of people taking advantage of my kindness, you know? Yeah. 
Yes. If you make cannabis oil, it can be used to help with epilepsy. Nope, I have not. But all I got to do is make one call to one person. Indeed, Tina, indeed. To answer your question, Zach, no, I have not. But all I got to do is make one call to one friend and it's done. Uh, no, I'm saving that for when Steve really fucks up. Like, asking me to fucking sign a paper treaty on, on his own terms? Fuck that shit. But if he keeps being an asshole, then I'm going to have to fucking do it. I'll make that call and be like, make it happen, man. Ruin his life. Tina says, and I quote, it's just fucked up. I'm sorry you had to deal to do that, and trust me, the only thing you can do is stick up for yourself and trust me, I know it's hard, yeah? Sticking up for yourself when you got a bunch of people against you, it is difficult, but... Uh, I think if he makes one more video talking shit, then it's already done. Yeah, it would be nice if Steve would do that, Carolyn, but he's not going to. You really trust somebody who fucks goats to be a man of his word and say, Oh, I'm sorry, Josh, I'll admit it, I tried to get down Summer's pants, and you caught me doing it, and then I lied to you about it. He's not going to do that. Damn right it is. <laughs> and that's something that Steve doesn't realize. I have fans all over the goddamn world. I have more fans than Steve will ever have in a bazillion years. Yeah, exactly. I want that, too. I want Steve to stop. I, I, I agree with you 100%, Carolyn. I want Steve to stop trash-talking. I want him to admit he was wrong and try to better himself for himself and understand that this friendship me and Steve had isn't going to happen, but he can still better himself. You know what I'm saying? He does. Steve hides behind his costumes or his personas, if you want to call it that. Exactly, Zach. Exactly. You notice that I don't hide behind fucking fake heads. Exactly, Carolyn, exactly. You can't have any relationship without trust. <laughs> Well, I hope Summer's all right. 
she said she'd be here in about 10 minutes and I don't know. Well, not a whole lot. Uh, Summer Summer wants to come over and borrow. Summer wants to come over and borrow my dark green nail polish. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, you might be a goth if your girlfriend borrows your nail polish. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But yeah, I'm going to let my phone charge up for a bit so I can have plenty of juice to make the cheesy ramen video. Oh, Summer's ribs were delicious. Thank you for asking. I definitely got pretty full when I was over there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nope, I drank all my cherry rum on Thanksgiving. I was pretty much drinking to the memory of the Native Americans who were ruthlessly slaughtered on Thanksgiving and drinking to being thankful for what I have and a bunch of other things, and I got a little too drunk. Hey, baby. I'll come, I'll come let you in.
What's that? Yeah, if you could. Uh, is this the nail polish you were speaking of? Yes. You tired? Yeah. Oh. You work tomorrow? Uh, yes, I do. What you doing? I'm making a live stream while I let my phone charge. Ah. Yeah. Then, then I'm gonna make cheesy ramen noodles when my phone's fully charged. That sounds interesting. Does it? Yeah. I'd be happy to share some with you. <laughs> you go home, sweetie. Oh yeah, I forgot. You work tomorrow, and yeah, I'm buggy too long. Oh. But doesn't the summer look nice today, folks? Yeah, looking all, looking all fancy schmancy. Yeah. Hello. Yes, it does. <laughs> you want to walk me out? Yeah, I can walk you out. <laughs> it's only 15 degrees out. It's not cold. That's good. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose Summer's right. She can't stay over for a couple hours tonight just because I'm working in the morning and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> hmm. Yes, it is. I'm liking it. It's coming in really nicely. <laughs> yeah. She probably came over for a quick kiss and hugs, you know, and yeah, find out when I'm working tomorrow so she can come hang out with me when I get off of work. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Facebook. You you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. Let's check that out later. Definitely. Hmm. Well, what I do, Carolyn? Jeez. <laughs> 
<laughs> Caroline, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've definitely had relations, you could say. I'm not going to go any further than that, other than, you know, I made her squirt, so... Yeah, yeah, for real. That's my girlfriend. Did I stutter? Yeah. I tend to think that when you can make a chick squirt with your dick, then you're doing something right. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, Mr. Andrew. Oh, yeah, Carolyn, you already know. Summer is a sweetheart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Justin, you got that right. It's the power of the cobra. <laughs> Um, I do not, know. But if Summer said that I need to wear condoms for sex and shit, you know, of course I'd do it. You know what I'm saying? Just some tobacco right here. Yeah. Wish it was something else. <laughs> No, in recent years, <clears throat> Facebook, in recent years, I have discovered that I have a way with the ladies if I tune into it just right. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, no, I do not. But if Summer asked me to use rubbers, I would. But like I said, like I said and like Summer has said, Summer is uh, sterile right now, so she can't have kids. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't think we have to make it official on Facebook for people to know we're dating. Um, yeah, Summer does have a kid, but the kid is not in the picture. Pulling out doesn't always work, though. Uh. 
ね。Hmm. I don't know about that, Sky. Well, to answer your question, I'm more of a dog person, to be honest. I'm cool with cats, but I'm more of a dog person. Hmm. Well, I don't really need a sex doll at the moment, so I might just save it for my car. I don't know. I get a little nervous taking the uh, driver's ed exam, to be honest. Yeah, I got my bike for now. It's all right. As far as that, as far as the uh, relationship lasting, all I can do is try. You know, I can't make any promises now because there are a lot of people in this town who are trying to break me and sum her up because they don't want to see her happy. And you know, what I'm saying so. Uh, I mean, if we, if we break up, it happens, you know. I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but, you know, at least I can take what I learned from it and, you know, better myself. Yeah. But like I said, I'll make this relationship last as long as possible. I'm not going to make any promises because I don't know. You know, the, the future is unpredictable at times. Mm. Kick off my uh, shoes for the evening then. I mean, yeah, for now at least I have a girlfriend, so, you know, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> I don't know, Becca. I think someone would have something to say about that. <laughs>
I can't be your sugar daddy because one, I'm a broke ass motherfucker, and two, I already have a girlfriend, so you know. But I can definitely. Whoa. My third eye just showed me something. I can't reveal what it is entirely. But my third eye just showed me something. Facebook. My third eye showed me I'm going to win the lottery. And I am going to be a sugar daddy. Nope, I don't have holy socks. It's just that some socks I have have holes in them. And unless they're real bad, I don't really throw them away. I know most people, when they get holes in their socks, they're like, throw them away. And I'm just like, nah, it's still good. Like, if the whole sock's practically falling apart, then I'm like, okay, I guess I can throw them away. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I know one thing's for sure. If I won the lottery, I'd definitely build my dream house. <laughs> Yeah, I've always said that if I won the lottery, I'd find my dad's 66 Mustang that he had in high school, and I'd buy it back for him so he could drive it. <coughs> Oof. Oh, ho. Put these stinky bastards in the hamper, huh? <laughs> you made a home summer? That's good. Most excellent. Yeah. Good, good, good. I trust and believe when I win the lottery and move out and into my dream house, of course I'm going to have the, the apartment professionally cleaned. <laughs> no, I don't. No, the fuck I don't. <sighs> All right, Summer, love you too. I'm not going to be up for too much longer. I'm going to make sure my phone's all the way charged before I make the video. Also going to make sure that my pasta bowl's ready. Hold on a second.
All right. Um, no, if I won the lottery, no, if I won the lottery, I'd build my Victorian Second Empire dream house and it'd already be done. Aww. <laughs> uh. And my dream house would have the coolest clock tower you ever did see. Let's see, I just got paid not too long ago. Actually, I gotta, I gotta set my alarm anyways. All right, there we go, alarm is set. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Summer got me a autographed Ozzy Osbourne picture. That's going to be pretty hard to top, but I'll try my best. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, uh, did she really? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Carolyn's um, <clears throat> Carolyn's youngest daughter, Madison, was probably watching Facebook Live with her mother on her phone, and apparently Maddie just pointed at the phone and said, Josh! <laughs> Aww. Is my clock tower going to be huge? Well, big enough to hold 44 bells, 43 of which are on a carol on, and the 44th bell swings on a rope. Aww. <laughs> Now, little kids are something special because Maddie's at that age where she's still discovering things, you know what I'm saying? So she's probably not sure what to think about this. She's seeing me on Carolyn's phone as she watches Facebook Live, and she's probably like, what is this? <laughs> nope. The only person manning my clock tower for ringing the bells would be this guy right here. Yeah. Probably loud as fuck, to be honest. But yeah, 43 bells on a carol on, and then the 44th bell swings on a rope. Right? That's probably exactly how what she's like. <laughs> uh. Hey. 
Hair looking good tonight, folks. What's a carol on? Well, let me just look up a YouTube video real quick. I'll post it in chat. A carol on, a carol on is basically a gigantic bell tower, but at the belfry where the rope normally sits is this giant wooden box with these pegs that stick out of the box individually. And each peg is hooked up to a metal cable. And that cable is attached. It goes from the box straight up through the ceiling and into the bell room. And each individual bell is attached to a metal cable. So that when you do, 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 you know what I'm saying? When you play it, it uh, it rings the bells. Let's see. Um, see, there's a couple of videos I can post on the comments here. Okay, this right here is the Harry Potter theme on University of Rochester Carol on Bells. Go ahead and post that in the chat. Yeah. Here's one video of a Carol on player. Go like that. Okay. And then a personal favorite of mine would be Let's see Yes Okay, this other video I'm going to share with you on chat. This is a video of a Carillon bell tower from the outside. But you hear the bells chiming on the inside from the outside view. And... The video of the uh, Bach Tower Gardens, they're playing Beethoven's Fur Elise on bells, like legitly. Like the first video I posted is basically what a carillon looks like from the uh, player's perspective. You see all the wooden pegs and stuff. Yeah. But, um, All right, I'm going to play that right now just because I want to listen to it. <laughs> Beethoven's Fur Elise played on a bell tower. Check this out. Not a whole lot, David. Just about to listen to some beautiful carillon bells. Thank you. 
To answer your question, yeah, I think cuckoo clocks are all right, but I do like grandfather clocks. They're pretty gorgeous. They're expensive as fuck, though. This ain't no glockenspiel. Oh, no. You're hearing an actual bell tower chime off Beethoven's fur elise. <laughs> yep, Beethoven being played on a carol on. To answer your question, yes, I would love to do a meet and greet with my fans. And uh, 43 bells on a carillon would give me enough range that I could pull off a couple of songs. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, that particular carillon that you just heard has like 63 bells. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> that is most definitely a lot. But yeah, I'd be down to do a meet and greet with my fans. That'd be awesome. You know, like if my fans were cool about it and they weren't like super, super weird about it or anything, then yeah, you know. I'd be down to do a meet and greet with my fans, 100%. Hmm. Hmm. Feeling kind of hungry right about now, and I'm wondering if my phone's charged up enough. I'll give it a couple more minutes. Um, if you want, I can continue to do the Facebook Live video while I make the YouTube video. I mean, you won't be able to see me make it, but you'll see it on YouTube, and then you'll see me eat it on camera here when it's done, for the most part. 
That would be kind of sick, actually. Hell's Bells by ACDC on a carillon. That would be sick. I could, but I really wouldn't be able to see very much. I think I'll just end the video when I do the video for YouTube, and then I'll post it on Facebook later on. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I will, Megan. Thank you. Yeah. Good night, Summer. Oh, well, anyways, Facebook, I'll catch you back on the flip side. I want to... Guess who was trying to fucking call me? Steve was trying to call me. Fuck that shit, dude. Straight up. Y'all trying to call me when I'm about to end my fucking live stream? Really? Fuck you, dude. If you didn't want to agree to the fucking peace treaty we had on Facebook... And fuck it, dude. I'm not going to fucking sign your stupid fucking paper. Fuck that shit. Anyways, thank you for uh, watching. And uh, I'll catch you all later.